Hello world, my name is Jebediah and welcome to episode 8 of the Monster Hunter Rise Gathering Hub. This time we're going to do like what we did last time and uh, start off with an arena quest. And this one's weird. It's in the flooded, flooded forest actually, not the arena. And there are two monsters. Do you think we should split up or go after go together? Probably just go together. Guess yeah, don't need to eat. Don't need to prepare. Hmm. I don't really use any of these weapons. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go with a hammer. Mm. Might use the bow. Oh gross, I have the Kezu weapon. I've got I've got Kezu armor. There's nothing there. Uh I guess Lou draw first. Sure, he's close. I'm gonna speedrun. Your speedrun strands. How do you do a BLJ? Um, we need we need a slope or a corner, I guess. Uh, attack. I was going, I was going above. Oh, that's not what I want. How do I how do I do my stuff? Okay, so that's just a dodge. At least the Kezu armor is good for hammers. It comes with some slugger and focus. Doing. How do I apply my coding? Uh, A. Hmm. I'm, I'm using a different control scheme, so mine's X and A. I think it's A. Well, I don't know what I did, but <laughs> I am mounting the monster. I guess I guess taking him to the nugger. Nope, you're gonna knock him in the wall. Yeah, I figured. Ah, I found it. I'm gonna paralyze him. Well, I've stunned him. He's not having a good time. All right, it's almost down. He tried to get me, but I staggered him. I've, I've just done the same attack like four times in a row. This might finish it. There we go. I have no idea what I'm doing with this weapon. <laughs> I'm just shooting. <laughs> uh, nope, that was the wrong one. 
I'm glad you can actually teleport. That makes it a bit um, quicker. No, maybe this will be okay. I'm going to start by putting him to sleep. All right, I got a good wake up hit. Right now, I'm just trying to uh, avoid being hit. I somehow rolled through that. <laughs> Sleep? No. There he is. Oh, now he is. I was gonna say I just used all of my coding, so. I know I didn't hit him with a big hit. It was, it's big enough. And time to sharpen my hammer. <laughs> Gotta put the edge back on it. Kind of hitting the wrong end of him, but it's fine. I stunned him. The Nakakuga was the main reason I chose the hammer. Because if I happen to hit his wings, it's fine. Oof. What? I died. You don't get any faints? Apparently not. Should I take him to the Nakakuga? You think that'd be faster? Um, I'm not even sure. Maybe. I guess if we can ride the Nagakuga. Then I go ride the Nagakuga. I guess I could have I could have beat him up more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knocked him out for you. <laughs> I'd say why don't you don't punish him unless you oh, just did it. I wonder if you could knock him into a wall and still get some hits on both of them or something. I think going to the main camp might be quick. Yeah, if anything, I might be able to start beating up Nagakuga, I guess. There's the Ludroth done.
I've also noticed that they don't. It's not arena music. <laughs> and I activated the, the trick toad. So he should head over there. He's gonna do a tail slap, I think. Ah, knock it down. Ooh, three fifty-three. I know you. Be, are you becoming a great sword main? Yep. He successfully tackled two of his attacks and not been knocked back, so. <laughs> oh, is he just walking right over here? Wow. That's not what I wanted. Well, can I just like charge to the stage now? Is that how this works? I think he's tired. And he's dying. And I staggered him away from my big hits. There we go. There he goes. I hit him for 318 on his tail. <laughs> I hit him for about that much. If you combine <laughs> it, if you, if you combine all my big hits together. Oh my god, I got a card with first aid beds. <laughs> Is there any monster you need to hunt? I mean, still the same monsters. Uh, I don't need to, I don't need to hunt anything. You don't need to hunt as an ogre in here or something? Uh, do you want to fight it? You want to fight as an ogre then? Yeah, because I need a plate. All right, I'll fight as an ogre then. Now oh, wait, you said he's weak to ice. I just brought my longsword because I wanted to use a longsword. <laughs> oh, there he is. I'm gonna make him mad. I've also learned he doesn't yell at the beginning. Oh my goodness. Why are his front legs? Not white. <laughs> so so far, this is no good music. It's my second favorite music. The arena mm -hmm. is still my favorite. I don't know how that didn't hit me. <laughs> guest I 
One of you punch the other one. Why isn't this Rathian becoming rideable? There we go. This is no good. Just had to punch him a few times. <laughs> attack and he's already ready to be punished. Wow, those fireballs all missed. I wonder if somehow me hitting him also helped. Gotten so used to quick shoot level three that I was playing without it. <laughs> and it felt weird. Oh, stand up. <laughs> Good job, bug. Doing something. I usually punch just twice. My quick sheath, quick sheath, saved me from that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? My bug went through his tail at one point. All right, give me Naga Kuga. Come on. Wow. I held left, but he turned to the right. They might work under some kind of tank control or something. Oh, well, at least Naga Cougar is rideable. Fortunately, we're kind of in the trees. <laughs> Can't really see what Zenogu is doing. Gonna do some tail smacks. Knocked over. Mm -hmm. Oof, that was weird. I was doing full damage to the Naga Kuga. Uh, maybe I was technically off of him at that point. Oh, maybe. Sorry, we knocked the Super Saiyan out of him. Tail. I guess if you want a plate, we should probably capture it, right? Mm -hmm. Not ready yet. He doesn't care about me, he's too busy eating a slag car. Huh. Oh, now he's ready to be captured. Huh. Alright, you're putting down the trap, looks like.
Is he not? He like got out of the trap. Well, let's just do this one. There. Now he should be weak enough. Definitely. There we go. Maybe he's just, in general, resistant to shock traps and didn't stand there long enough. Mm-hmm. Fugen and Hojo have got something. A large horde of rampaging monsters is threatening the village. The Hunters Guild investigations have revealed a monster di directing the rampage from the center of the horde. Hmm. It seems an apex has appeared. This powerful monster lords over an enormous territory. At some point, it must have joined the rampage and taken command of part of the horde. Cynthia, when Hoge has that look on his face, it means you'd best be real careful. An experienced hunter's senses are finally tuned to what's going on. This ain't gonna be your average hunt. Even so, we can't change course now. Like before, the villagers will defend the perimeter while you focus on inside. And, and Arzeros is the apex wants to lead the assault. Take it down and Kimura is safe. Now, go get to it. I guess, I guess we're becoming Apex Predators. How can I help you? We are? Yep. I guess. If we beat the Apex. The Apex Ar Arzeros. I need to tell you how dangerous an Apex can be. Yeah, it's a... Three horde rampage. And it gets you defender tickets forward. Mm -hmm. So, will we have two gates to defend? Yeah, we got two gates this time. Oh, they gave us large meds. They gave us first aid med pluses. Bring it on. Mm -hmm. So what's the strategy? I just I usually just put a ton of defenders in the front. But we don't have any defenders right now. Well, we got the defender ballistas. Oh, is that what you mean? Yeah. I thought you meant like the people. I guess, and I guess usually I like in the middle putting the mountable. Ballista, just so we have more range of motion. Mm -hmm. Not into the village. Like these two right in front of the gate, I'd make so, a. Yeah, what about Fugin? Fugin? I would. I usually save him. So yeah, I put, I'm putting on a couple of mountable ballista right here in the middle. Over, right next, and then kind of. Filling out as much as possible with Defender Ballista. Mm -hmm. And might as well put the last one back here. Why not? I guess, yeah. I was just saying, why not over there? But. There's two there, so that adds up. It looks like there are a couple of ways to get to the second area if we need to before the gate breaks. Give me all you've got. I'm not letting anything through. And we just have Iori unlocked. So we can send him out whenever we need to. Impressive. Remember, you can guard if you need to. I don't remember the button. I remember now. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, so basically, of course, trying to keep them in this first area. Eventually, the bamboo bombs will come back and do big damage. See, they didn't even make it through the first gate. It's good. <laughs> now that the counter signal's fired, we just get in there. What, and fight? Yep. And you can even don't you don't even have to focus on the main Azuchi. Because if you take out one of these smaller monsters, sometimes they become rideable after you defeat them. Alright, is there any left? Looks like there's one Azuchi left. We got all kinds of things. We got Dragonators unlocked. Up here, by the Dragonator, I'm gonna put a couple of Defender Cannons. And if you pick up some exploding kunai, they do like a hundred damage. Mm -hmm. I just have some bombs. Yeah, you can put those by the barrel bombs. I read online that's someone else's strategy. By the bamboo bombs, so they'll, they'll go off and put some blights on the monsters. Also, there's a couple of dragonators. You can tell by the green lights that they're ready. Mm-hmm. Of course, you can see these these two Dragonators right here. But there's actually some Dragonators underneath this second gate that come out of these grates in the floor. Mm. How did those ones get activated? Right from those. This? Yep. If you have your map zoomed into the detailed map, your mini-map, you can see a lot of useful things. Like which... Uh, Which spots have yet to be filled, and which are broken, even the, lo the location of the power kilns and dragonator switches. Mm -hmm. So should this one here be turned into a cannon since it's almost dead, or? I guess if yeah, that works. I generally like the ballista more. What we've got to do is get a few more experience points, get a level 5, that's when we unlock the machine cannon. Huh. I'm ready. That's not what I wanted. Did you blow up the barrel bombs? Yeah, I was thinking I could charge, but I can only do that with this other one. And also, it says we just unlocked Hinoa and Minoto. Mm -hmm. 
And the uh, villagers are actually really strong. So, if we ever get in a tough situation, it'd be worth putting them down. I thought we had the machine cannon unlocked. We don't yet. Like once our gate gets weak, we could put Hanoa and Minoto at that on the ground right in front of the gate. Oh no, a great Rocky. Aha, uh -huh, now we can put down a couple of machine cannons. That echo sounds readable. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Counter signals active. But the Dragonade is right there, so I might as well use it. And there's the Dra there's the Rocky get done. I went and said hi to the Echnosom. There's a Kezu by the gate. Alright, this section's pretty well good, I think. But now we're gonna head to the second area. Which there, there seems to be some sort of net you can climb by the main gate, or you can head to the camp and go there to, to it, I think. Yeah, you can head here. It's a great wire bug that sends you all the way to it. And each area has its own limits, so we can basically do the same exact thing. <laughs> and we've also unlocked the weapon fire artillery, 
which I like to put by the gate in case they get close and just blast fire on whoever's by whoever's by the gate. So right here in the middle, I'm going to put a machine cannon. And this isn't a this isn't a dragonator; it's a splitting wyvern shot, which is like a big giant cannon. You can basically you activate it the same, but whenever you activate, it, you can point it basically anywhere you want on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I guess all I could think to do is put a dragon bait right here. We do have ac an actual limited number of those. Like we can only put down two total. Like right. it w once one gets once one gets destroyed, it doesn't come back. Hmm. Kind of like how we can only use Fugen once. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I guess they're actually uh, in the first area. They're not over here. I'm gonna head back to the main camp and go to the first area. And the machine cannons got that other. Well, the, the other two special ammos. The cluster shot is basically just a shotgun. It's good. At, it's good at close range. Mm -hmm. And the silk bind shot drags the monster towards you. They can use it to pull it away from things or get it right next to you, so you can hit it with the shotgun blasts. The gate's taking damage. He just like barrels through everything, huh? Yep. Okay, I think he does. Like he just immediately destroys the gate. No matter what. And he's making a run for the next area. Wow, he just one shot set. This is gonna be great. You can summon a sushi somewhere.
Here's a free spot. Counter signals worn off. Go, Fugen. I was like, what was that? That was Fugen. I got knocked off of my turret, fell forward instead of backwards, fell off the ledge, lost control, got hit by him once, died. He's really trying to beat up my turret. Well, I can keep guarding, Arzuros. You're Mogi. Go put her down. She's really good. Where? Right there? Just, yeah, just right in front. Right in front of the gate. Oh, that works too. She uses a gun. Well, that miss. Counter signal. My colors wore off right before I hit. And this counter signal apparently lasts for like five minutes. This is basically just an, a an actual hunt now. Mm -hmm. And we could do things like put him in traps, bomb him. What's what's happening? I understand. I, I put a bell bomb right beneath his feet and it staggered him. A bamboo bomb, <laughs> I suppose. Ah, oh, he's dying. I'm gonna throw some mega barrel bombs at him. Unless, unless he does that. I got earplugs just yeah. in time. Let's just leave him in circles. Wiping shot. 
Oh, never mind. Here it comes, though. <laughs> what was that? That was a splitting wipe and shot. Oh. It's like a mega cannon. Does it just blow up the area or is it no, to it, aim it? You have to aim it. Oh god. Basically high rank high rank guards are stuff. Which I guess this is probably a high rank quest, yeah. makes sense. You get something? Yeah, I got a, a gem. Oh. Something that I'm never gonna get from. <laughs> <laughs> um it's an ogre? Yeah, it's an ogre Magnamalo. We managed to pull through somehow. Well done. The village is safe for now. <laughs> the rampage. How long do you think it's going to last? Hmm. We don't know the cause, so it's hard to tell, really. We've been trying to figure it out for 100 years. Huh? <laughs> What's that? Hinoa, what's wrong? Where is my queen? Where is my queen? Alone, searching. That monster's hot. That monster is likely an elder dragon, but why haven't we seen it before? We need answers now. Something else has bothered me, the way Hanoa reacted when it appeared. It seems Hanoa resonated with it. Hanoa has always been able to sense Minoto's emotions, even from a distance. We call that resonance. And for some reason, Hanoa resonated with that fiendish beast. The guild will investigate this matter. You can now accept four star quests. If you could take care of those, that would be an enormous help. And one more thing. Do your best to cheer up Minoto. She's been crying ever since she got back to the village. Hey. And now we gotta see what all these people want. Oh, it's you. Do you have a moment? I was just over at the smithy when they asked me for new weapon suggestions. Uh -huh. I <laughs> joked that an egg for a hammer would save any hunter and a stomach in a pinch. Then Master Hammond suddenly shouted, Genius! I think he might be drawing up plans. I mean, if he's really feeling inspired, I can't just not follow through on my idea, even if I didn't mean it at all. I hate to ask, but do you think you could go get the eggs for him? I do it myself, but, well, you know why I can't go. No, I guess I don't really know why I can't go. Is it because you gotta stay here and oversee the egg hammer production? Now words Utsushi. Have to say. Come up with a little something to help you out. Brand new switch skills. But I'm not just gonna hand them over like last time. Nope. You gotta earn them. And to earn them I prepared some quests. Just check out my little quest description and then take on the quest. Complete it and you'll gain a new skill. I was gonna drop some charts and stuff, but then I was like, nah, that's lame. Let's do some quests. Anyway, whenever you wanna snatch up some new skills, go take on one of my quests. You got sword and shield, hunting horn, switch axe, light bow gun. Not everything? Nope. That's why I'm sad. <laughs> the chef's got some big news. All, all Mew Dango. Uh, Yamogi needs a favor. Ask my usual supplier to deliver some ingredients. Except now the trade route through the Frost Islands is swarming with all these stupid Azuchi and Baggy. 
I'm just kind of worried, you know? Like, what if my trader gets pounced on by a bunch of dumb monsters? Not to mention, without ingredients, I won't be able to make the new menu. Or the regular one, for that matter. Is there any way you could, like, scout ahead and shoo away those Azuchi and Baggy? Please? And... Now she wants to tell me something top secret. She wants to add more deliciousness to the dongo. But now you need to... Oh, good. I don't, I don't don't actually have to go get the eggs. It's just hunting two Kulu Yaku. Hey, mm -hmm. has got something else. Now are you telling me that we're getting... Yeah, now she's just telling me that the canteen's been upgraded. Well, if you went looking to swipe with that there petal lace, I guess Fugan's gonna give me some more petal laces. You gotta be prepared to take on harder quests. So how about we upgrade your petal laces? I thought it'd take longer to get used to them, but it looks like you know your way around them already. Ah, oh, yeah, we got all kinds of. Yeah, they're just upgraded now. Now the blacksmith. Serious hunts require serious steel, so I've ready the forge just to make more powerful ramped up weapons. There are apex monsters out on the rampage. They carry precious materials that take very well to the ramping up process. I can forge them as I have your other weapons in the past. If your weaponry is lacking, you'd best try it. Now we, he's got more good news. The, the smithy has decided to start forging decorations. I don't need jewels to forge them. Bye. Oh, the wire bug guy, he's got something. He's got a delivery quest or something. We need to gather info on all on the on those critters. So what do we need to do? Finding 30 different species? Yeah, easy. Hey, Expecting nothing less, Makamura Hunter. So many different creatures. Whoa, what's this? And this? I've never seen them before. This is great. Fantastic, even. Sorry about that. Got kind of carried away there. Here's some great wire bugs. How many is that? Eight, but eight great bugs. The renovation of the Argosy is complete. This extends it to its facilities. You can use it to trade for even better items. Our trades are overflowing with more magnificence never before. And that'll do it for this episode of Monster Hunter Rise. Next time, we'll actually enter into high rank and see what kinds of new quests we have. Stay tuned.